My mind is blown, and I know when you see what this product can do, yours will be too. Last week, I was browsing on YouTube, and I happened to see Simon Hurley was live, so I thought I would hop on and see what he was up to. Little did I know I would not be able to keep my mouth off the floor. I was in such amazement by this product. I had to purchase it right away. Now this year, I am going to try my hardest not to buy everything that I see in sight that I like. I really want to make sure that I am thinking of the things that I buy and I knew that this product was going to get a lot of use. Not only is there so many possibilities with this product, I can use all of the existing products in my craft room with this new product as well. I am also going to show you how I take random things around my house and use it with the product. Now let's get into the video. I'm going to need some ink, some paper, a brayer, and a heat tool in addition to the stamping foam. The stamping foam measures three by four and a quarter and it is about three and a quarter inches thick. There is four in a pack. I'm going to take my heat tool and heat the foam for about 10 to 15 seconds. After the foam is warm, I am going to flip it over and stick it right on top of a stencil. I'm going to make sure that I press firmly for about five seconds. And as you could see, the stencil made an impression into the foam. Now I'm going to take some ink and I'm going to ink up the foam. This way I can use it as a stamp. I am aiming more for a ombre effect on this one. So I am taking three ink cubes from Concord and Ninth and I am just inking up the foam. I am leaving a space in between because I am going to be using a brayer to blend the colors together. When I am blending inks together, I like to use a six inch brayer. This is going to help eliminate those lines that you will get if you were to use a one or two inch brayer. You also don't have to move your brayer around too much, just slightly back and forth to get a seamless blend within the colors. I spritz the foam with just a little bit of water. Now I can take my inked up foam and use it as a stamp. This is such a great way to get more use out of your favorite stencils. And look at that organic texture you get, so cool. I am going to spray the foam with just a little bit more water and get a second stamped image. This will be a little bit more grungy than the first one, but it can make some really cool backgrounds for some cards. Depending on the ink you use, you could probably get another stamped image out of it, but I decided to spritz a little bit more water and clean it off with a washcloth. When your foam is nice and clean, you can heat it back up and get this you can use it again and make another impression. I am going to heat the foam for about 15 to 20 seconds and when that first impression is gone, you are ready to make another impression. Yes, you heard me right. You can use this foam over and over again. Now that my foam is nice and warm, I am going to take a die this time and I am going to press it firmly into the foam. I hold it there for about five to 10 seconds just to make sure that I get a really good impression. How cool is that? Here's an up close look at the impression I should have pressed the foam into the die like I did in the beginning of the video with the stencil rather than press the die into the foam. I probably would have gotten a more even impression. I took more of the Concord and Ninth ink and I am going to brayer it out. I am going to add a little bit more into the center because I want the center a little bit darker. I am just going to blend that color out a little bit spritz it with a little bit of water, and now I can use it as a stamp. Here is a look at that stamped image. I love the grungy look. I am going to spray some water on the foam, clean it off really good. Now I'm going to heat the foam back up for about 10 to 15 seconds, and now I'm going to use an embossing folder to make my own stamp. I inked up the foam, and look at how cool that stamped image is. If you don't have a lot of stamps, dies, or embossing folders, don't worry, you can use anything from around your house. I'm just using some old lace. It gives a really unique texture. I am going to heat the foam back up and press it into some random string that I have bunched up and put on my work surface. I think this string might be one of my favorites. The random texture you get is so cool as you could see here in this stamped image. I was having so much fun playing around with the stamp foam. I tried out a couple dozen different items to make my own stamps using the stamping foam. Not only can you use the foam over and over again, you can dust off all of those forgotten dies, stencils, and embossing folders and give them new life and get more out of your supplies. I love using random things I find around my house for my crafts like I did in today's video with these necklaces and this lace. If you want even more ideas of things around your house that you can use in your mixed media projects, be sure to watch this video right here. You are not going to want to miss this video. Be sure to click here. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you later.